and we're back and if you notice we are now a how to let's play settlement survival series we're just shy of 200 adults can you believe it and we've hit the 38 skill unlocks i have to thank mrs kari over the change in the name because she's sitting there looking at it and like uh aren't you doing a lot of showing different ways to play I'm like, yeah. And she says, no, it should be in your title. So, yes. Uh, you're going to be seeing... Uh, I'm going to be redoing the descriptions and the name and all that. Because I've read some of the descriptions. And I actually sound like kind of a snob. And that is not my intent. There are people that can play this game <laughs> much better than I can. And, you know... This game's my passion, and I just want to show people what I've learned because there's nothing worse than spending $15 or $50 on a title, and there's really no information how to play the game, so it's a waste of money. And, you know, I just love this game, and I want I do want people to enjoy it as much as I do. So I apologize if uh, I've come off as a snob uh was not my intention whatsoever but uh so sorry so but we did get a lot accomplished uh in the last episode let's go ahead and get people moving and uh as you know we started getting the down jackets and looking up in here we already have 407 and we're gonna you know I, I, nobody's commented yet on, on how much of these 999 coins are. So hopefully we'll have them in the next episode or two and we'll be able to check that, check it out and confirm it. Uh, we did gain more, um, development points and we actually did a large jump between episodes, uh, 13 and 14. And right now, Ooh, we, I miss, we, we got a, uh, an achievement and I missed what it was. Oh, what a bummer. Okay. Uh, I also, uh, checks the food and we're going to need to check it after this season because I do believe the, the peppers are not doing very well. So we need to add some more space to that. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this Taylor workshop because since we added all these over here, I don't think this one's needed anymore. So, hasta la vista, baby. Okay, and we're going to get rid of this one road right here. But before I do that, let's go ahead. Since everybody's having a field day using this road, let's go ahead and upgrade it. And I'm going to take it all the way up. And this is something, you know, you live and you learn. All you can do is watch the traffic pattern on the road and uh, improve the ones that are being used the most first. And since these guys are just literally crawling all over the place, we're going to improve these first. I should say, improve these next. We've already improved some roads. So we have that. We're going to, I don't have room here. We're going to get, we're going to move him, but we're going to get rid of this road and we are going to do something new. And okay, that's the boarding school. Yeah, where is it at? Grocery store. We are going to put in our first grocery store to get coin. So, yeah. Uh, and just so you know, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. event, a strange patient. Ooh, clicky, clicky. The hospital admitted a patient who is unable to move his limbs. The patient has been in. Oh, we've done this one before. Huh. Do you believe we did? take risks take the risk drugs may be effective yep and what do we get and we get 
Nothing? Hmm. Oh, what a bummer. Anyway, uh, the grocery store. They do not sell their products to citizens. Once we place something in the grocery store, it is no longer available to the settlement. So you really need to watch out what you put in here. Try to only put in stuff that you are not going to use. Now, I'm going to pause it real quick. We have Jonathan here. And let's look at some of our inventory. Uh, it's not smart to put food in here uh, since you're growing so fast one minute you're going to have a ton of food and within a year you're out i mean or i should say two years depending on how, pe how many people you have so i don't recommend food uh so our in our beverages could i sell the water yes but i'm getting ready to add distilleries and all that other fun stuff uh, and just like the fertilizer factory uses a ton of water. So where I'm basically swimming in water right now, that number is going to drop huge. Uh, herbs. Don't recommend herbs unless the, this number is like catastrophic. I mean, just I shouldn't say catastrophic. You know, just way out there. There it's massive numbers. I would not recommend it because you're going to wind up using herb and soaps and ointments and all that other fun stuff. Same thing with uh, timber and plank. Uh, not recommended. And for some reason, people sell stone and the laid stone and all that. Well, it's that stuff's a, a lot of work to dig up. So granted, yeah, I do believe it sells for uh, five silver each. It's just not worth it. Same thing with your fuel. And I know like, okay, Cot, uh, what do you plan on selling? Well, believe it or not, we're going to start out with rough clothes. Now that we are into the down jackets, the citizens are going to prefer these. So we're going to go with rough clothes. And then, uh, you know, we're not going to... I could sell the stone tools because nobody wants to use those anymore. So we can get rid of those. Uh... The spirits, we're not going to do anything there with that. And then, look at that. We already have 14 tiers, so we can build special buildings. And we still have our kitty cats. So, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, right here in the raw materials, like right here. Look at the textiles. Uh, I could sell feathers without a problem. So, we'll probably set up a... a a grocery store for that and the flex I could but we're gonna watch that and so those are probably gonna be the two things that we sell and I might start selling the agave tequila uh, keep it down to around oh five thousand so we're probably gonna sell the clothes and the agave tequila and the feathers first so what i'm actually going to do is since i'm going to be selling three different items i'm going to add three people to this when i only put one person in on some of my other uh, uh, maps that i was testing uh, seems like i always had i was always running into some type of problem having one person so we're going to go ahead and do uh uh, we're going to do rough clothes and I don't care if I sell out. So that's no big deal. And I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep 200 in here. And now if I don't set this bottom number, this vendor is going to keep on selling the item until it's totally gone. So if you are selling an important item, like say I did the down jackets and told them, okay, we can sell 200. And if I don't put this like at 500, which would be the minimum amount I'd need to keep my people clothed, I would be in serious trouble because that vendor will sell me out. So, you know, 
word of caution there. And so we're going to set uh, the rough close for this. And then we're going to, I'm going to sell some of the agave. Now you have to remember this will only hold so much. So don't put in your numbers like crazy. Uh, you know, like since I have 10,000, you know, put 5,000 in. No, just, just do small increments. That person can run to that warehouse and grab it. We're dealing with small uh, caravans that don't have much money. So, you know, placing a thousand to sell, it's, it's just not practical. So here I'm going to put in 500 and I'm going to keep the minimum at 5,000. So my uh, uh, distilleries should not run out. So we're going to go ahead and add that. And then we're going to sell feathers. And where are the feathers at? Come on. Here, feathers, feathers. Okay, feathers. I'm going to keep... Okay, we're going to do 500 here. And we're going to keep... Ooh, let's do 5,000 still. And then I'm going to get rid of those miscellaneous uh, stone tools. So we're just, oop, we're going to sell all 10 of them. And once they're gone, they're gone. So now we have our first grocery store and let's see what it does for us. And we're starting out with uh, 1,000 and I'm going to tell these guys to bounce this up to 2,000. So then they'll be happy. And maybe we can get some of this water cleared out. And these guys, see, they've already hauled off and the warehouses are close. So they're grabbing it quickly. And now, since we have the people and I really don't care about the space what I'm thinking is bringing in another hunter but we also have to deal with the clothes as well and I mean the houses you know they're they're cranking out the babies and we need to catch up oh technology point and now we get to play the game we want education watch this Right now I have one technology point there and bam, three technology points. So, you know, this is, this is a good route to go. And so we're going to go over to mining and I started thinking about it and I was going to just run this all the way down, but I actually want the building placements and I know the deep mine is 11 by 12. And according to this, the regular mine is 11 by 12. So I actually only have to do this one. Quarry, same thing. The really big quarry is the same size. But what I'm trying to do is I want to get to this landfill so I can trim mountains. And we're going to do that with our next... Uh, our next uh, point. And there's a method of my madness because I don't want to have to keep tearing down and rebuilding stuff. So I'm trying to get the big buildings that I know I'm going to use uh, on my map. Uh, excuse me, in my, in my toolbars. So, oh, and if you haven't noticed, uh, I know I, I've given this tip before, but any new buildings you unlock when you do uh, your development points, you'll see this orange circle here. And just go ahead and you'll find new. And then, of course, right here, we got the new academy. Now, the academy is going to be important because I don't know when the immigrants start coming in uneducated. Because I know the first round are. 
but I haven't really, my bad, I haven't checked the ones after that. So, uh, your academy will teach the, the immigrants that came in, uh, you know, their education. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, another thing is, look at these sub tabs. Notice they're color coded. You have the dark one here, which is the public buildings, and then the school buildings. So this is how it breaks them up if you if you don't want to look at the whole search bar. So like, you know, this is monstrous. If I just want textile buildings, notice how they're all color coded. They're matching up with these. So if I just want textile so it's easier on my brain, I go there. Now, an odd one, don't ask me why they put it under treasure. I guess alcohol would be considered a treasure, but yeah, uh, you'll find your distillery and winery under there. So, uh, just wanted to remind everybody that it was there. Now, I'm going to be tacking on another settlement, and I actually want to know where I can place decent mines. And like this mountain, I don't see... You know, it could probably be decent, but I really want fields and other stuff over here. So I am, when it's, I get uh, that terraforming tool, this mountain's probably going to go bye-bye. And I might be, I might get rid of this one, but I'm going to be shaving these things so I can get the maximum amount of mines in it. And when I do my, uh, 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 what's it? Brain fart, right? Going to mining. The quarries, excuse me. The rock quarries. I try to put a, a group of them off to the side of the map and I'll tie in a marketplace and I try to go on the corner. So then, you know, with how the settlement will go, it'll be just lined with rock quarries. And then we're going to have to get into these because this is going to make these transfer stations and these supply stations are going to make a world of difference in our map. And I'm not going to go into them just yet because they do get confusing, but I like to put the transfer stations just right outside the edge of a marketplace. And uh, you can select the items that you want to keep in it. So I try to put like clothing in there and all that fun stuff. So uh, the settlers don't have, you know, they don't have to path all the way over here to some warehouse, especially if I have, you know, another market over here. I don't need them running all the way over here just to get close. So we're going to use the transfer stations uh, just right out of each marketplace. And it's going to set up basically a web of distribu a distribution around the map uh, to my markets. So, and then I'm going to have this skill, which is in logistics, uh, delivery. Uh, the delivery, uh, the vendors right here will wind up delivering everything. And matter of fact, I have too few vendors here because I need the vendors to stock this. Like, why do they have fat here? There's no reason for it. There's no reason for feathers. So right now my uh, my vendors are kind of dumb. So yeah. What a bummer. Okay, anyway, time to move on. So, okay, where are we at? Housing. Let's uh, get the game back going and... Can't walk and chew gum at the same time. I'm going to get rid of this because why this is working, I don't know. And I still have this one over here. And this one is empty. And I have one person here. I'm getting rid of this. I consider it an exploit. It shouldn't be there. And so that's going away. I kick them out. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of it. We're going to go ahead and uh, throw some houses down. I'm going to get rid of this road. And yeah, I'm probably going to 
destroy these two houses as well. So which way? Okay, wait a minute. Before I do that, where will I get the most houses? Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Well, yeah, I'll just do it this way. So we'll put that one there. And we'll go and try to get as many houses. Will this fit? No. Oh, well. And I might as well do the stone through, uh, stone road. And just bring it. I'll bring it out here. Ah, uh, we'll just do it there. And how many other houses can we do? Okay. We can get one there. Would I be able to get one there? Oh, what a bummer. Sure, it'll fit there, but that one's too wide, so. Okay, my eyeballs are deceiving me. That does work. Okay. I'm getting old. And we'll put one there. And we'll put one there. And nothing can go there. Come on, guys. Build this stuff up. How are we doing on our fuel? Fuel's okay. We're getting low on timber. So the people aren't getting as cold now. Woohoo! So that means we can get a little bit bolder on what we're yanking out of here. So oh, we're just going into uh winter. Hmm. I'm still paranoid, so I'm gonna try to keep them close. We can get them uh, to attack the stuff over here. I just don't like losing people. It, it's, it just drives me nuts. I actually feel guilty when they die. Because it's like I sent them to their death. Oh my god, we're still at 25 houses? Or, oh. Even with building all of these? Seriously? People. Stop with the Viagra. I mean, come on. This is uncool. Let's see if we can get any over here. They're being mean. That one there. Yes. Yay. We can get one there and one there. Okay. And we need to move. We're going to upset some people here. And we have our new technology, our development point. So, bye bye, guys. Hasta la vista. Two citizens are homeless. Well, you know what? If you would just uh, knock these out. Come on. You can do it. Really? Progress. We have three. Yay! So I think we're maxed out for housing here. Well, I might be able to get one more here. And that's it. So let's get this technology point 
18 citizens. Wow. Okay. Now for the fun. And it should be what? Mining landfill. Ha 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 ha. I am a game god. Let's destroy a mountain. Okay. There we go. Terraform. Okay. Anybody seen Star Wars and see what the Death Star will do? Bam! It's done. Gone. Nice and flat. <laughs> so, be very, very careful when you're around water. Because you can really jack up your river uh, playing with this tool. But, you know, just be very careful with it. Because you cannot undo it. So once you uh, tear something down, uh, yeah, you're uh, you're kind of up a creek. Now they do have uh, the dig the river, but this is once all other technologies are unlocked in normal un uh, normal mode, this function will be available in sandbox mode. Oh. Okay. Uh, I jumped to conclusions. Oh, if we can get this next, this will be like totally amazing. It will absolutely change our map. Oh, this life is good. I, I can't not wait for my next technology point because <laughs> we're going to have fun with this map. Oh, yeah. So, okay, where are we at? Uh, we're up tw 27 minutes, so we got to get more accomplished here. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm having too much fun here. Uh, look at how much silver we've received already. I mean, we're at 6,700. And these are the only items that I'm selling. Uh, stone tools are gone, which is fine. Uh... Leather, uh, rough clothes. Did we sell out of them? Yeah, we sure did. So as fast as they can make the rough clothes, uh, they're doing it. And then, uh, how far are we with the, uh, Gavi? Oh, beverage. Wrong one. Beverage. Yeah, look how much they've, uh, tore down the agave not too bad and feathers how we've been doing on feathers wow they haven't even made a dent the feathers okay yeah see notice how we're uh 90 full you know this is going to be the big thing between the grocery store and uh the, the, I think it's a trade post, I think it is. Uh, trade. The small trading, uh, small trading post. This, of course, has uh, more vendors. And uh, they also have more money. So, you know, it's going to be good to get into the trading post. And then uh, the large one. Of course, you know, more storage, more traders, carry more money. So I guess this, you know, this one just gets everybody used to doing it. And then you get into something bigger, uh, still the same size. And then you get into the 12 by 12. So yeah, that's cool. I mean, we don't need this one right now because this one's doing just fine. So, but yeah, where people thought I've been waiting too long. Well, we're already, we're getting money for it. And uh, we finally hit uh, the 200 on this. So let's see where we're at here. Uh, oops. We need to go into raw food. 
Come on, text. Textiles. Nope. Raw food. Come on. I don't want that box there. There we go. Raw food. Dry animal dung. We're at 4,099. Huh. And we're at 1,300 on the fuel. I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to... Oh. Let's go ahead and do uh, the dried animal dung for a while. And we'll go from there. Because I'd like to get the 1750 back up. So you notice, two uh, sawmills will not keep us going in uh, fuel. So that's something to look out for. And before we... Oh, I missed it again. The planting season. How well did we do uh, on our food? Let's... Uh, Check out the peas. Peas, still sitting well on peas. Our chilies. Oh, yeah. By adding that uh, other field, we did really well. And right here, the soybeans. Ooh, they actually consumed more soybeans last year than what we produced. So that's going to be something we're going to want to get addressed. And... We're going to go ahead and add that now before uh, the end of this episode. I know I don't like uh, episodes going long, but, you know, let's get it addressed while we're here. While it's fresh in our, our minds. And typically we have seven people. A seven to seven. We're going to do uh, soybeans. Let's throw in a road. A proper road. Come on, give it to me. And if you notice, we're getting more and more people dying. So we're going to address the cemetery in the next episode. We're going to tear it down and rebuild it. So uh, before we leave here, let me task the people. Because we want them working right now. And let's go ahead and... We're going to nuke all this. <laughs> I love having 55 people. And what else do we need? Okay, we're going to need stone. Oh, we're short on uh, iron as well. You know what? We're going to hoover this. So let's cancel all this. We're just going to hoover. We're going to take it all. Bye, guys. This is going to keep them... This is going to keep them busy. I just hope I have enough warehouse space. Oh, let's do it. Temperature's going to be good. And we then, yeah, I think this will be fine because we're picking up more stone. But I know we're going to need more stone. So let's go ahead and hoover up. I think this is going to keep them extremely busy. We're good there. Oh, in for a penny, in for a pound. Let's just do this for grins. Yeah. I've I how many times have I preached not to do this? Oh well, I'm feeling froggy. So why not? <laughs> We're gonna end it here, guys. Uh and gals. So uh any of the tips I've done, please hit the like button to Give more exposure to the video so more people that want to learn how to play uh, can see it. And for everybody that subscribed, you are awesome. Uh, I still haven't figured out this whole, really? The subscription thing? People are actually subscribing to me? Well, hopefully you'll enjoy it. So, caught out. I will see you in the next episode. Have a good one.